Hi everyone, in today's video we are going to learn how to draw this geometric seal. And so when we hear the term geometric, we're going to think of geometric in the terms of shapes. And so there are two different types of shapes when we're studying shapes. There are geometric, which are what we're going to use in our project, and then there are also organic shapes. And if we see here, organic shapes are a shape that are really all um, on their own. Um, organic shapes could be things that we see in nature, um, such as a, a, a cloud or a rock. It's a shape all on its own. But a circle is always a circle. A square is always a square. A rectangle will always be a rectangle. And so we're going to use these geometric shapes to draw our geometric seal. Now, part of our drawing, when we're drawing something, um, we need to study shapes and we also study the types of lines that we see. And there are all different types of lines um, in uh, when we look at art. Um, so you'll see all different types of lines. And so sometimes when we're describing a line, you, we may say a curved line, which we know that's going to be something that is curved. Um, but we also may describe a line as a thick line. Um, that means the line is really thick and chunky. We may also see, let me show you an example of a thick line. This is a thick line, okay? We may also describe lines um, in, based on the direction um, that they're drawn. So sometimes lines are drawn horizontally, which means the line is going from side to side. Sometimes we might describe lines as vertical, something that goes up and down, okay? Or we can think of a diagonal line. Something that's on an angle is a diagonal line. So we're going to be looking at different lines to make our shapes because a shape is, in fact, a line that is closed, okay? So let's go ahead and start. We, we should all have our um, project paper available. And for today, I'm just going to use my pencil and my eraser, okay? And, oh, another thing, too. I decided I would use, I might use, I don't know if this is going to be too big, but this might be the perfect size to trace over um, for the ball that we see in these balls that we see in our our um, sample image okay sometimes circles are difficult to draw um, they might when we draw them uh, if we don't have a drawing tool sometimes we might see that the circles uh, may be a little lopsided um, so if we have a stencil that we can use you could do that I also thought that this glue stick circle might work very well and so we'll talk to you a little bit about using um, stencils in just a minute so in this lesson, we need to fold our paper in half. So I'm going to tilt the screen down, and it says to fold the paper in half. So I'm going to take my paper, and I'm going to fold this up, and I want my corners to me, and I can see this corner is touching this corner, and this one over here. Once I have my corners touching, I can flatten this down. Okay, and now I'm going to open this back up, and I can see that I've divided my paper in half. So I have a top half and a bottom half. And so now I'm going to take a look at my handout. And you have a handout too. And I'm going to look at the drawing guide. And this is where I'm going to start. I'm going to start with step one, okay? And step one is telling me that in the middle uh, this this line that we created is the middle of our paper and in the middle of the paper we want to draw a dot. So I'm actually going to fold my paper one more time and I'll tell you why it's not in our handout but this way my seal will be directly in the middle of the paper. So we just folded the paper like this, right? Now I'm going to fold the paper a long way. Okay, so it, it looks, the paper's 
still really tall, right? I'm going to fold the paper vertically. Okay, remember I said a vertical line, right? So now we have four sections. One, one, two, three, four. And now I can see exactly, I want to put a dot where those two folded lines meet. And that little dot is exactly in the center of the entire paper, okay? And so from there, um, I can see that I'm going to draw what shape? I'm going to draw a triangle, correct. And so for the triangle, if you want to use a ruler, you can, but maybe you don't have a ruler at home. You know, you can use, I've got this little pad of paper right here. And so I'm gonna go ahead and use my little pad of paper and I know for a triangle I need a diagonal line so I'm going to draw a line going down here so I got my diagonal line there and I'm going to draw another diagonal line on the other side so it kind of looks like an upside down V right that looks like an upside down V okay and then I need to draw a straight line to connect the two. So I'm going to go ahead and make this a little bit longer. And then I need to draw a line to connect these two angled lines, these diagonal lines together. Okay? And so that's all we're going to do to create our triangle. And I don't, I'm going to go ahead and erase this. I feel like this line is just a little, little off. So I'm going to straighten that up just a little. And if you don't have something that you can use um, for a straight edge like this, feel free to just freehand it. You can just draw a triangle without having um, a straight edge. Your line may not be perfectly straight, but it's still a triangle. I'll still be able to tell that you drew a triangle. Okay? So that's all we need to do for step one. Now for step two, there's a lot of detail that we need to do. We need to draw that little dot is going to become our seal's nose. We need to draw some curved lines for the whiskers. So I'm going to start there, okay? So I'm going to darken up that dot because I really want to make it visible now. I want people to see it. And then I'm going to draw some curved lines. Just some curved lines for my seal's whiskers, okay? And then you'll do the same. Then I can see a circle for the eye and a dot, a smaller circle inside. And then I can see two curved lines for the smiley mouth. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now too. So I'm going to draw a curved line, or I'm going to draw a circle actually first. I'm going to draw my circle. And then I'm going to draw a smaller circle for the inside, for the, for the pupil. And then I need to draw one curved line for the smiley face. And another curved line almost to show the seal's cheek. Okay, so we should have something like that. Then we know our seal has flippers towards the front of the body. And those look like, to me, uh, let's see if I can bring that down. Kind of looks like the letter C. So remember I said sometimes we're studying shapes? So sometimes those shapes could be letter shapes. And so I'm going to draw the letter C right here. And then I can see another letter C down at the bottom part of the triangle. So we should have something like that. Now I'm ready to move on to step three. And what do I see that's different in step three? I see another triangle, which will be my seal's tail and then two smaller triangles at the end. So let me go ahead and put that, the tail's gonna be on this side, opposite of the flippers. 
And so I'm going to do a triangle here with two small triangles on each side. It almost looks like a bow. There. That was pretty simple. Now we're ready to move on to step four. And we can see what shape down here? A rectangle. And so I'm going to draw. I'm not going to use my little notepad. I'm just going to go ahead and draw that rectangle. I'm going to draw two parallel lines going down. And then I need a line to connect these two. These two parallel lines need to be connected by something by another line going horizontal. So this line is horizontal. When I go side to side, that's horizontal. When I go up and down, that's vertical. Then if I look at step four, I can see that we're already drawing those circles. And based on this Step four, I can see these circles are smaller and the ball in the middle is going to be bigger. So I'm going to try that glue stick. Let me see. And maybe you have a glue stick at home that you can try too. Yeah, I have more than enough room to use this as my stencil. So I'm going to go ahead and trace one circle around. So there's the first ball. I'm going to put the stencil down. I want my circles to stack right on top of each other. So I put my stencil as close as I can to my ball. My first ball that I drew, my first circle. Yeah, and now I have small, bigger, and then small again. And I'm just tracing around my circles. You want them to stack on top of each other. Oops, looks like I made a sloppy mark right here. Let me clean that up. And I'm going to clean this one up too because I was a little sloppy over here. Okay. Now, I've just, I've just completed all the steps in step four. Now I'm ready to move on to step five. And it looks like I'm adding some details. So I can see triangle shapes on top of this little stand that my seal is on. So I'm going to draw what looks to be, or maybe you see a zigzag line instead of triangle shapes. So I'm going to do an angled line, and then an angled line going up, and then another angled line going down, and then another one going up, and then another one going down. Okay? So I see triangle shapes, or you can describe that as a zigzag. Let's look at that first ball, the one that's sitting right on top of the seal's nose. I see two curved lines. So I'm going to draw a curved line, just like that. And a curved line is just a line that is slightly rounded. And then I'm going to draw another curved line. Hmm, let's look at that second one, the bigger ball. I'm going to look really, really close. And it looks like there's a circle in the middle. This one to me looks like a beach ball. Have you, have you ever seen a beach ball? So there's a circle in the middle. And then the beach ball is divided up, right, into different colors. So then there's a curved line. And then it looks like there's another curved line here. There's a bigger curved line here. And then one here. And then one here. Okay? So you give that a go and see what you come up with. I think I'm going to change the direction of this one. I'm going to make this one a little more straight. Yeah, I like that better, okay? Then we're going to move on to the star. Now, for the star, if you don't know how to draw a star, 
don't worry about it. Um, you could even do your own design. Maybe you want to do a heart in there. I'm going to go ahead and do the star by breaking the star up into triangles. So I'm going to do a triangle, most of a triangle right there, right? Like the little mountain peak. Then I need to do another triangle shape here. Notice how it's touching my first triangle. Then I need to do another triangle shape here. And then another one here. And then another one here. So all they are are just triangles that touch each other. What you're going to find too is sometimes you kind of have to move the lines around like I just did. There. That's a little bit better. You might have to do the same thing. I've also seen some students who draw a star. Sometimes we draw stars like this. Right? That's totally fine. And then you just get rid of the lines on the inside. So you decide what you want to do in that top ball. So you just erase the lines that are on the inside. And then you can darken these lines back up. So that choice is yours. You decide. Okay? Now, it looks like our circus seal is actually performing on the stage. So we need to do these curved lines to finish off our project. And so, well, not to finish the project, but to finish the drawing. So I see a curved line very close to this top flipper. So I'm gonna draw a curved line going up here. And then it needs to kind of match around the same side over in this, on this side, curved line there. Then I'm going to draw another curved line here. Notice how I didn't draw that curved line into my seal. I stop at my seal right there. And then I just kind of pick it up on the other side. And so for the first day, we want to draw our seal. Okay, just using lines and shapes. And then in our second video, we will color our seal. I'll see you soon.